Good morning, everybody. I'm not too sure how to start this video today. Yesterday we uh, ended off our vlog saying that there's some changes coming. That I had to go into the office today and uh, have a meeting. And the changes were coming. And that's sort of where we left that. And uh, changes are definitely afoot. Oh, I can't get comfortable. I've been walking all morning. <laughs> I've been, uh, as you know, I've been sharing with you. Uh, stress levels have been higher than they ought to be. And uh, I've been struggling with this truck. Uh, with maintenance of it. Just like everybody else, you know. My story is not much different than a lot of truckers. So, uh, I don't want to act or sound like I'm... Uh, going through something that no one else is, but it, it was really tough and uh, got ourselves into uh, a little bit of a, a pickle, a little bit of debt, keeping this truck running, and uh, had to come to the hard decision of returning the lease on this truck. Uh, it wasn't an easy decision to come by, been uh, back and forth thinking about it for, well, I guess the last few weeks, last month, as I was nearing the end of my rope. And uh, I found the end of the rope. I found the wall, however you want to look at it, where I just could not go on any further. <coughs> so uh, this was a lease purchase uh, with the option to end the lease like I've done and I've uh, didn't want to uh, I wanted to hold on to it for the longest time but it's come to that situation where that's what we had to do and uh, here we are uh, this truck will be moved on to a regional fleet someone else will be driving it and it will be staying closer to home as the miles are getting high on it and uh, as it's been shown to be getting a little cranky, it'll be staying a little closer to home. I will be jumping into a newer, uh, I, I believe it's going, going to be a Peterbilt. I will not own it. I will be driving it as a driver. But uh, I am happy with the way all the, the cards landed and how everything uh, worked out. I think we worked out a good deal. They were very generous and uh, very helpful. And I'm very thankful to be where I am, working with the people that I work with, that uh, treat you like family, and take care of you, and help you when you're having a hard time, which they've done now, and they've done in the past. <laughs> so, very thankful for that, and uh, we're going to keep on making videos here, we're going to keep the vlog going, but you will see me getting into a new truck on our next trip. Today is Friday, and on Monday I come in, I'll be switching trucks and moving all my stuff over, and uh, we'll be returning to van division, and uh, going back to where we were for the first, you know, for the, for the last six years really. Well, I've been doing flatbeds now for three years. And it's been great. I mean, the people I work with are fantastic. The It was fun. I learned a lot. I had great experiences. Uh, you know, we pulled over-dimensional freight, pulled all kinds of different freight. I've learned a lot. My skill set has gone through the roof. I have learned a lot of new skills that I'm very happy to say I now possess. Possess those skills. But in all honesty, my heart wasn't in it anymore and my heart has always sort of been with my old routes and it's, it's not the work it's not the tarping or the strapping sure that takes up uh, a lot of time and uh, but it was satisfying when you tie down a good load right you tie down a good load and uh, be proud of it pulling it down the road but to be honest my heart really wasn't in Flatbeds. 
So for the meantime, anyways, maybe we'll see what happens in the future. I mean, I'm only 32, so I've got a lot of life ahead of me yet. We'll see what happens in the future. But for now, I've made the decision to return to uh, driving a truck that I don't own. So as a company driver on van division, back to my old routes that I did for six years. Uh, I liked it. I liked that a lot. My favorite part about the job is driving down the highway. You can call me a steering wheel holder if you want to. What? It's not like that's not true. I'm a steering wheel holder. What? But it's not like I don't, like I haven't explored other, other industries, different divisions. Or explored by industries, I mean like different, uh, different kinds of freight. I'm happy with where I'm at and I'm happy with uh, what the future looks like. So I wanted to let you know that uh, we've already been talking for six minutes here. Uh, I've been walking all morning. I just went for a walk to walk it off. It's uh, always making big decisions in my life, sort of, you know, uh, rattles me a little bit. I don't like change. I like, I like, I'm a conservative. I like conserving things. I like keeping things the same, just keeping it going, right? When big changes come up, it makes me nervous. It makes me anxious. So this morning I went for a good long walk, cleared my head prayed about it and uh, I'm happy with I, I, I think I made the right decision I'm happy with this change right now at this point in my life so we'll see where it takes us I'm going to take you with me though so things are going to change okay but not much we're still going to be trucking we're just going to be on van division we're going to be seeing a little bit of different sites we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, different work and we'll be in a different truck and uh, the dream of me owning my Kenworth W900 will have to uh, return back to the back burner. Maybe one day down the road, the stars will align just right and we can get into a Kenworth W900. But uh, I'll tell you something right now. In all honesty, the stars are not aligned. It is not the time. It is not the time. And uh, I'm not going to bury myself in debt that I can't pay back and uh, lose everything chasing my dream. I've got more than just myself to think of. I have a family at home. I have a wife. I have, <laughs> we have dogs to take care of and we are working on starting a family, having a, a child. And this isn't the time to go risking it all for my dream of owning a fancy, shiny Kenworth W900. As awesome as it would be, the stars have not aligned right now. We'll see. Like I said, I'm only 32. Got a lot of career ahead of me yet. Maybe sometime in the future. Maybe it will. We'll see what happens. For now, this is where we're at. So now that I've filled you in with everything, I'm just waiting for Britt to come pick me up because uh, the truck's going to stay here because it broke again. I have a leaking wheel seal. You want to see it? Come on. Let's show you what, what broke today. Let's show you. I'm just going to go around. It's the front drive axle back here on the inside all right so we're gonna crawl in here i'll show you what happened take a look at this mess okay take a look at this mess look at that you see that all that oil dripping down all around the rim there <sighs> yep that happened yesterday sometime because i did my pre-trip it was fine Checked it halfway through my day. It was fine. Got back to the yard, did my post trip. That was there. Like, oh. for crying out loud. I guess we got to go out with a bang, right? Maybe she's angry that I'm giving her away. I'm fine with that. Whatever. I'm angry with her. She's angry with me. Fine. We've been fighting for months. It's time to break up. <laughs> me and this truck are getting a divorce. Tell you what. My other wife. Brit, she won out. She gets me all to herself now. This truck was always my second wife anyways. You know, she's always number two. She never liked me that much. She didn't treat me very well. So uh, it was an abusive relationship. I was getting abused. And now, the paperwork has been finalized. We were breaking up. And you know, I have this giant feeling of relief just after I walked out of the office and I just took a deep breath and it's a beautiful day outside. It's a little like overcast and rainy. It looks like it's going to get rainy, but it's still compared to what we, we were used to in Manitoba. It's a beautiful day outside. 
I want to just took a deep breath and just, oh, thank you, God. I'm not kidding. I was joking around before. This is an abusive relationship, but no, this, this was an abusive relationship. This truck was hammering me daily with problems again and again and again and again. And, uh, it, I've replaced so much stuff on this truck and that was the problem, right? Cause I had invested so much money into this truck already that I wanted to keep going. But every time I invested a few thousand dollars into it, another few thousand dollar thing would break. So I'd fix that. And then the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing, and it all happened at once, which is what made it so difficult. But you know what? It's going to be all right. We're okay. We got a good team of people here. We got a good family here and, uh, they're taking care of me. Thank God. Thank God for the people here. So on Monday, like I said, Monday, we're getting into a new truck. That'll be a fun video to make. So tune into that video for sure. Maybe I'll make some videos. I'm going home for the weekend now to uh, sort of just relax and let loose because finally this big weight I've been carrying on my shoulders since January, it's just, it feels like it's just floated away. And I sort of just want to go and kick this truck in the grill, right in the teeth. Just give her a good kick. I won't do that though, because it's not my truck anymore, but you know, in my mind, that's what I'm doing. I'm kick her right in the teeth. <laughs> Sayonara. Bye-bye. Moving on to different things.